Hello, and welcome to Paper Mache Bowls. My name is Grace, and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. Paper mache literally means chewed paper in French. It's a technique that layers paper and paste and can be dated back thousands of years to Imperial China, as well as to other cultures like ancient Egypt, the Middle and Far East, and Europe. Throughout history, it's been used to create ceremonial masks, shields, decorative boxes, dolls, and various sculptures. These days, paper mache is frequently used as a craft by kids all over the world to make anything from Halloween costumes to pinatas, homemade globes to science experiment volcanoes. In this video, you will learn a paper mache technique that can easily be applied to other craft ideas. Today, we're going to be making simple decorative bowls using paper mache. We will need just a few supplies to make this project. Newspaper, scissors, masking tape, wax or parchment paper, flour, water, addition utensil to mix your paste, a piece of cardboard or paper plate, and a mold to form the shape of your paper mache bowl. The mold can be another bowl, a blown up balloon, or even a dish that you create by sculpting aluminum foil. This craft might get a little bit messy, so it's best to work on a washable surface or even outdoors. To make the paper mache paste, we will be mixing one half cup of flour with about one cup of lukewarm tap water. Blend the mixture thoroughly with a whisk or a fork to make sure there aren't any lumps. Next, we're going to cut our newspaper into strips that are about one inch wide. After you've prepped the paper mache materials, you'll want to get your mold ready. If you are using an existing bowl as a base, it's important to wrap the entire dish in parchment or wax paper so the paper mache can be separated once it's dry. I like using a balloon because you can blow it up to whatever size you wish and the balloon is easy to separate from the sticky paper mache. Once you've mixed your paste, created strips from the newspaper, and have prepared the mold that will form your bowl, you're ready to paper mache. We will be working on the outer surface of your selected mold, so be sure and turn your bowl or balloon upside down. Let's get started by taking a strip of newspaper, dipping it into the paste, and gently removing any excess paste by running your fingers over the paper. Place your strip onto the base of the bowl, making sure it goes on smoothly. Repeat this process until the entire surface of your mold is covered, then layer again. The more layers that you add, the sturdier your bowl will be. I recommend using about three layers. Allow to dry for at least 24 hours. If it's a sunny day, consider allowing your bowl to dry outside. Once your paper mache is dry, it's time to remove it from the base. If you are using a bowl, gently pull the liner from the paper mache. It should come off easily. If you used a balloon, first pop the balloon, then peel it from your bowl. You may want to trim the edge of your bowl or leave the rim as is. It just depends on your preference. Traditionally, paper mache pieces receive a coat of paint to finish it off. Feel free to decorate as you wish. Your paper mache dish is finished. Use it to organize craft or school supplies such as paper clips, store jewelry, or hold loose change. It would also make a very unique and thoughtful gift. If you're looking for more ideas about crafting with paper, LA County Library has lots of interesting ebooks available for checkout on Hoopla. Paper Making by Megan Borgert Spaniel, 
Scrap Paper Art by Susie Brooks, and Crafting with Paper Mache by Dana Meachin Rao all offer inspiring how-tos on transforming a simple piece of paper into a beautiful masterpiece. Check them out today with your LA County Library card and PIN number. We hope you have enjoyed paper mache bowls. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now!